What's up guys? Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing great and staying safe. So we are at the sustainability pavilion in the Expo 2020 center and uh, coincidentally or fortunately we got the appointment or we got the booking to come here and visit this place as tomorrow is the last date and this all happened just uh, accidentally and uh, I'm gonna show you what is inside so let's go and explore so this is the gate to the pavilion which is tremendously huge and beautiful at the same time so this is the entrance gate very huge yeah it's huge and gorgeous this is a huge Real crazy, actually. Yeah, it's actually very gorgeous. Oh, so after passing this gate, there are sanitizers at almost all locations, and then you have to go through this thermal scanner because it's COVID, guys. We have to be careful. So here uh, we are passing through the thermal scanner or the thermal screening center. But it's really nice. It's you feel like you are in some other world. I feel like I'm watching uh, in the Oblivion movie. Right? Because the Oblivion is not a It's not the worst part. It's for the security and all that. Yeah, it's for the security. It's for the security. Soon after the security check, I saw this stunning structures and I was in awe of this place. I felt like I was in some other world entirely. This is Terra, the Sustainability Pavilion of Expo 2020, which is scheduled to happen in October 2021. Voltaic cells, which is kind of a you can say solar panels, so which is very sustainable, hence the name the sustainable or sustainability pavilion. Even the canopy over there behind the domes or behind the umbrella kind of a thing, which you guys see, is also having solar panels or the photovoltaic. Cells. So, guys, uh, there was an entry fee to enter this pavilion, and that was 25 AD per head, and uh, we also had to get it online. The Terra Sustainability Pavilion is constructed on the concept of net zero, which means that the energy required for this particular site is generated on site using solar panels and rainwater harvesting. There are around 4,912 solar panels on the canopy and 18 energy trees. <laughs> TV cells, photovoltaic cells, like panels, which is equivalent to, or you can say, like a solar panel. So it's complete sustainability. Electricity is produced using these panels. Terra's interactive experience tells us the story of the humankind's relationship with the planet.
so this part of the canopy houses games which explains about uh, global warming the balance in our world or earth then about the ph which we require to sustain in this earth about evolution etc and also how we need to be sustainable guys next we are moving to the next part or next section of the pavilion which is under the forest so from the term itself you can understand what it means so we are going to explore the things that's going to happen or that happens under the forest from the roots to the top so let's go explore guys <laughs> through the under the forest was really enlightening because the way they have uh, um designed and structured it so beautiful it's something that uh, we need to watch it with our own eyes it's hard to explain this is a hall of consumption where uh, it shows uh, the amount of materialistic things which we use and the waste we generate from plastic to electronic waste clothes etc which was again enlightening and uh, the way they have put it together is wonderful So after under the forest we pass through the uh, hall of consumption which shows us how much we consume from this earth and what kind of waste we are generating and how it is affecting our world or the earth so it was beautifully uh, um i would say uh, designed and everything was really good tertiary regeneration
So now let's go under the ocean guys and to go here it's not necessary or mandatory that you need to know swimming or diving. <laughs> This is perpetual darkness under the sea. Wow. It's gorgeous. Now let's move on to the sea of consumption where we can see the waste generated or accumulated in the sea. If we are entering another something like a shark in the vein and a wine, which is showing that uh, plastic shetra we will consume. There are sea creatures in the white chile kana. We were so mesmerized by the way they have depicted everything because a lot of energy, creativity and mind team effort was put into creating this. So hats off to the team and the Expo 2020. So after an uplifting walk, the outside world welcomes us with live music and food trucks wherein you can enjoy a variety of food and snacks. So all in all guys, the Terra Sustainability Pavilion will make a wonderful, fun and enlightening day for your family. So from our tired phase, you guys may understand that we had a long walk, but it was worth it. It was it indeed. It was beautiful. beautiful it's a great experience actually. Yeah, it is actually. Uh, thank uh, God that we didn't miss it. We were almost on the verge of missing it. but uh, Actually, we, we didn't get the booking first and maybe after half an hour, one hour, we checked again and it was open. So, it was pure luck actually. Yeah, it was actually, actually pure today luck. Or tomorrow? What is the last tomorrow day? is the last date and I'll be posting this uh, after a few days, not immediately. So, so we can't tell people to go watch uh, yeah, it. Yeah, to come and watch it. But uh, for those who missed it, I would say that once the expo time. start yeah. in October, please come and visit because it is worth it. It is really. And it's beautiful, really it's real beautiful. Good. And it's actually sad that they invested so much money and uh, because of Corona, they couldn't do anything. But still, something is better than nothing. So yeah, just watch it actually. So until next time, guys. Hope and who you can watch it, maybe they can watch the vlog and see it. Yes. Watch this video, share it maximum and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. So, until next time guys, bye bye. bye, -bye.